You know, you look so good. But your father is not even going to recognize you. You look like the perfect zebra. And I'm going to need your help, okay? When the doorbell rings, all the trick-or-treaters are there. Okay? Does that sound good? <gasps> There's one now. Okay, let's go. Okay. What do you think it's going to be? You can leave that there. Batman. Batman? Uh -huh. Or how about like a monster or something? Like all slimy and everything? Yeah. 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 No one's here. Boo! My oh. face! My face! My face! <laughs> <laughs> Boo! <laughs> Boo to you, pal. What are you doing ringing the bell? Well, I wanted to make sure the bell works, because this is the most important day of the mm, year for the true. bell. That's true. That's true. So, uh, where's Chip? Oh, uh, I think he's close by. You don't mean this guy. This can't be Chip. Oh, this is a, a zebra. Wait, Wait a minute, I recognize Chip's hair. Maybe that is Chip. <laughs> Come here, let me see. Oh, yeah, it feels like Chip, all right. You know, buddy, what I found out, I was walking around the streets, I saw lots of other kids with costumes on, and you have the best costume on the street. Kind of like your costume, too, pal. Thank you. You a good witch or a bad witch? Bad, very bad. Can't wait to see you in action. Mm -hmm. I have a hat, too. But it's kind of thick. <laughs> so I haven't been wearing it. How's your disguise? Uh, Where is it? I'm, I'm saving my disguise for later. Oh. Yeah, I thought after all the uh, the goblins have gone home for the <laughs> night, maybe uh, maybe you and I would have our own private little party. Trick or treat. Maybe a little of both. Want to hold my teeth for me, pal? Thank mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. Don't go biting anything. Yeah. For now, I'm going to have to head back toward the waterfront. I'm going to meet Michael and talk to him a little bit about those robberies that are going on down there. Okay, but be careful. I will. Listen, you keep this guy out of trouble and don't have him all scaring right. all the neighbors away, okay? All right, Perfect. good job. Guard my teeth for me, pal. Okay. okay. Oh, listen. I saw you talking to a guy outside. Was anything wrong? He wanted to know how to get to Robert Barr's house. Oh, um, delivery or something? Actually, he was from a storage company. He had instructions to empty the house of its contents. Robert's moving? I don't know what he's doing. I guess Robert just took off and didn't move forward. Hey, Chip. Yes. People this friendly? See? Hola. 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 Deal. Who the hell is that? You looking for a job in El Diablo? I didn't come here for the scenery. Well, that's your boss, Helena. She runs El Diablo? You can't breathe without her, okay? Trick or treat. Uh, 
check out this candy, and if you like it, I got a lot more. It's a nice stone. I might know someone who'd be in the market, depending on how many you got. Uh... I'll be in touch. How's it going? Ah, uh, same old, same old. Except for a few of the customers coming in here wearing masks. I'll tell you, for most of those guys, a big improvement. <laughs> yeah, I tell you, bro, I don't know how you can work in this place night after night. I really don't. Sure beats selling pencils on street corners, I'll tell you that. Yeah, but you could be making some decent tips someplace else. Speaking of which, I got a yeah, friend... Yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't, nice... Cruz, all right? Uh, offer your friend my congratulations, but I think I'll stay on here till I find something else myself. Just thought I'd mention it. Michael Donnelly been in here tonight? You seen him? Might be upstairs. I think I saw him come in uh, a little while ago. You want a drink? Maybe later. I'm going to take a look at him. Cruz. Just got your message, sorry for late. Uh, oh, thanks for coming, man. I need your help. Yeah, I didn't sound like a social call. Can I grab a table? Oh, sure. It takes you a whole week to make this much money, Hugo. You make it much too easy for me to take it back to you. I need you to death at this game. Well, nothing compared to what my wife will do when I get home. Uh, you deserve it. Next time, when you get your pay, you take it home to her and you put it in her hands. Then, you send her here to play with me. What about this week? You learn a hard lesson. Yes, sir. You always clean up the table like that? Who's asking? An admirer. An admirer? Mm -hmm. We don't have many strangers in this town. What brings this one? Well, I go where the work is. Well, then you made a wrong turn somewhere. That's not what I heard. The last time there was work in this town was when the owner leased it to some movie company and they made many sets, even a hotel. But they ran out of money long before they were finished. And now these sets, they are all overgrown and filled with brush. What about the mine? There must be work there. Someone has been drumming up business? Well, you do run the place, don't you? Why? 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 I'm asking you for a job. <laughs> Doing what? Well, I can't afford to be too, uh, choicy. You gamble? If the stakes are high enough. You win. I give you a job. Yeah, if you win? You work for me. For nothing. Hmm? Name the game. Straight poker, no fool. Deal. You know, people do not come to El Diablo looking for work. Well, why do they come? Because they are running. Either from the law, on themselves, a few even from a broken heart. So which is it with you, huh? You seem to know so much, why don't you tell me? Well, it's not the law, or you would be looking over your shoulder. And you seem to me uh, too smart a man to think he could ever outrun himself. No. No, I think it was a woman that sent you here. And now, it is a woman that is going to make you wish you never heard of El Diablo. Bye-bye. Don't scare too many people. brother is. Probably wants to jump out and scare us somewhere, I bet. He's probably hiding. It's not in the fireplace. <gasps> oh no! He scared us. And you didn't come because you were hiding because you wanted to scare us, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Come here. Let's come sit down. 
Okay. And I'll tell you a story. Okay. You sit up here with the bearers? Yeah. Okay. We'll move him out of the way. <gasps> Ready? Yeah. I'll tell you what. When we open the door, yeah. and they say trick or treat, okay? okay? okay. We're going to scare them, okay? Come on. Come on. We're going to say boo real loud. Okay. okay, we'll give them a little bit of their own medicine. Okay, ready? Okay, okay come on. Okay. okay, we're going to say boo real loud. Okay, ready? One, two, two three. Go. Boo! 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 <laughs> boo, you scared me. Boo, Hi. who are you? <laughs> Hi. Hi. Just, uh, you know, Halloween. Oh, I would have never guessed. Yeah. Uh, are you Eden? Uh, Castillo? Castillo? Yeah. Uh, Mr. Barr left instructions for me to leave this with you. Oh, thank you. Um, Chip, will you hold this for me? Yeah. Happy Halloween. Well, well excuse me. Where is Mr. Barr? I'm sorry, I really don't know. Good okay. night. Okay, good night. What is it? Is it? I don't know. Let's take it over to the sofa and we'll open it up. Okay. You want to open it up for Mama? Yeah. Okay. Come up here. You sit with me. Hey, little princess. Hey, little princess. You're so good. Okay. Ready? Uh-huh. Oh. Uh-oh. Well. If you witnessed the theft, why didn't you just arrest him? Take him down to headquarters. I guess you haven't heard either. I'd have put up a billboard. What? I was fired. You're the best cop I've got. <laughs> I'm not even the worst anymore. There's no way that the captain could justify that. Look, these robberies have been going on for a while. You live down here, you work down here. There's got to be some kind of word on the streets. You picked up anything? Oh, nothing I recall. You want a beer? Yeah, yeah, sure. Hey, it looks pretty intense over there, man. What's going on? You and Michael working on a hot case or what? No, we're just talking. All right. Don't worry about it, man. Forget it. It's on the house. Thanks. You bet. You need anything else, let me know, huh? Got it, pal. There you go. I'm told you have something for me. That depends on the price. Price? The Frenchman's. And you're damn lucky I'm only here for his goods and not to slit your throat. You know the guy I was telling you about, the one who stole the package? For the scar. Guess who's standing at the bar talking to my little brother? Listen to me, man. The guy sitting over at that table's a cop. Why? He can scrape up what's left of you when I'm finished. I'm not lying to you. It's a cop over there, I swear. It's not a good time. Come back here at midnight. I'll have what the Frenchman wants, all right? You'd say that. You be careful. Hey, want another beer? So talk to me, brother. Well, what about this? Come on, I just got a little careless with the booze, that's all. You got a lot careless with that dude you were just talking to. What dude is that, Cruz? The guy with the scar? The scar? I guess I didn't notice. I mean, I'm a bartender. I, you know, my job is to smooth. Looked like more than friendly conversation to me. Well, then why don't you have me arrested, Cruz, for not keeping a smile on the customer's faces? All right, better yet, why don't you have me fired? Grant, you heard about that. Yeah, I did hear about it. What I want to know is when I was going to hear it from you, Cruz. Let's not change the subject, shall we? If you know that man or anything about him, you're going to tell me about it right now. What the hell is this now? The third degree, I already told you, I don't know diddly. Players come into this bar every night. My job is to check IDs, not rap sheets. 
believe you. You're a real piece of work, you know that? You come in here, you see me talking to a guy you think is bad news, BAM! I'm ready for the state pen again. Wouldn't be the first time, would it? Oh, where the hell have I heard that before? You're never gonna let up on me, are you? You're always gonna shove that right back in my face. Well, let's talk about you now, brother. Let's talk about why they fire super cop. I mean, a cop like you, with your track record, practically has to go out and murder somebody to get the boot. But would they dare point a finger at you, Saint Castillo? No. You're usually the one that goes out and sticks everybody else. Well, I'll tell you, buddy boy, one or two of those guys maybe deserved it. But this time, not me, man. Not that you really even give a damn, but this time, not me. You were gone. Well, I tried. I couldn't stay away. I had to come back to you. You know, we've been all through this. What you and I had is over. I wasn't sure if I could live with that, but you're right. It is over. these for you. Please. Thank you. <laughs> They're beautiful. You know, you really can't stay here. I know, you're right. I can't. Yeah. I have to go. Cruz, Cruz can't see you here when he comes home. There's one more, Eden. Go. No. Mm. No, Robert, no, I'll get you some help. I'll get you some help. Everything will be okay. You are so beautiful. I loved you from the first moment I saw you. Robert? No. 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 The call. Mm, not bad. Now, about that job. I do not remember the last time a man has beat me. But you may wonder what it is you have won when you begin to work in the mind. Oh, I never look back. I remember you said that. 200 a week to start. It's going to be a pleasure doing business with you. I remember you said that, too. So, well, where do I pick you up in the morning? Huh? Well, I guess right here. Where are you staying tonight? Well, actually, I was planning on uh, maybe sleeping out in the stars tonight. You are a gambling man. Between the Panthers and the Scorpions, you would be lucky if you wake up alive. Well, that's a chance I'll have to take. Look, I know a place. It's uh, part of the old movie set. No palace, but it's better than sleeping outside. Sounds like home to me. And I'll take you there. You would be safer with the panthers and scorpions. <laughs> Oh. Well, I've put all the candy away, but I'm sure I can come up with something for you. So, you said anything about candy? <laughs> hmm. Something wrong? No, no. I told the kids this story. I think I spooked myself a little bit. 
Must have been a hell of a story. Yeah, well, they were so cute, though. I mean, what a night. Chip would hide, and, and Adriana would, would, like, shriek and laugh louder every time he jumped out and tried to scare us. I mean, they were really, really cute. Great. How's the investigation going? Actually, it's taken a turn in an awkward direction. What happened? I hope I'm jumping the gun about this. What do you mean? It's Rick. I think he may be involved in the robberies. Why do you think that? I mean, our friend with the scar, remember him? Yeah, not a face you'd forget. I saw him at the bar tonight. He was having a conversation with my little brother. Oh, Cruz, come on. I mean, Rick's the bartender there. Doesn't mean he knows him. That's what Rick said. Well, you need more proof? Don't I always? Right now, I just want to forget about it. Well, maybe we can come up with a way to make you do that. Yeah, I'm all ears. Better be more than that. Oh. It's probably more horrible little children. Well, I've been waiting her. all night for a chance to do this. Let me just do this. <laughs> ah, come in. Hi. Hi. Um, I followed our friend to a boarding house. It's about three blocks from the bar. I've been there a couple of hours. I got a feeling he's staying there. Close to the harbor, that makes sense. Hey, Michael, aren't you a little old to be trick or treating? <laughs> yeah, sorry to bother you. No, it's no bother. You want some uh, popcorn? Or? I'm afraid I'm going to have to mosey on down to the waterfront, darling. I need to no, uh, take a look at that boat. Don't worry about it. I'll take care of it. No, I can't ask you to do that. You, already... well, you didn't ask. I'm insisting. I mean, you've done a lot for me. This is my chance to pay back. You sure? Yeah, I have a plus I could use the distraction. All right, well, I'd appreciate it. If, if he leaves and goes back to the docks, you give me a call. If he goes back to the bar, I need to find out about it. You got it. Thanks, man. Good night. Good night. Uh, about that popcorn. Uh, knock yourself out. Thanks. Well, I suppose this is the time that I give you the lecture on giving your brother the benefit of the doubt. Well, you know, I already know it by heart. And if my brother is involved in this, a little slack from me is the least of what he's going to need. Aren't you? What were you expecting? There should be some candles here someplace, sir. Remember, I warned you. Not much. Well, I guess it'll be enough. Yes, you don't strike me as the sort of man who would settle for anything less than the best. Is that what you're offering? Well, a man works for me, he worked hard. I work hard for anybody, but I work hardest for myself. Have you ever worked in a gold mine before? Oh, and now you want references? I hope you are not going to have a problem with authority. Can you take uh, orders from a woman? We'll find out, won't we? Tomorrow. You know, I don't even know your name. Well, you can... Uh... <clears throat> Call me Chance. Chance. Well, good night, Chance. Well, you were right. About what? When you said you were a bad witch? You better be careful. I'll turn you into a frog. like your costume a lot. We could have won first prize at an Adam and Eve contest. Or should I say, Adam and Eden. <laughs> oh, you're so clever. <laughs> we even have the apples. So does this place feel different to you tonight? How? Oh. Like it's our home again, maybe? Like I don't feel Robert Barr looking over my shoulder for a change. Do you? No, I... 
Not anymore. What I wanna say to you. It's kind of strange though the way it just took off, isn't it? Or maybe it isn't. Maybe he just realized that at this point in time it was the best for all concerned. Or maybe Tanel just finally pulled the plug on him. Maybe he didn't have a choice in that. Listen, what difference does it make? I mean, he's gone and we're here. Yeah. It's just you and me. Yeah. And whatever ghosts happen to be hanging around. Yeah. Hey, what are you? <laughs> you are a wicked witch. That's right. If you come on over here, I'll show you just how wicked. Oh, my God.